no thing in your life just happen. There are some things that you learn in the process, in the painful grappling of climbing up to a place rather than being zapped to a place. The things that you went through getting there give you the tenacity to stay there. The fight is your friend. My life was shaped in part through tragedies and the weird thing about tragedies is that they don't tell you that they're shaping you intellect can describe it but only instinct can find it people always remember and talk about how you made it and you're king or you're you're the president or you're the pope or whoever you are but they don't understand what all you went through to get there by the time i figured out what life was all about it was time to go i've been sick before i made it I've been broke before, I made it. I've been broken hearted before, I made it. I cried all night, but I made it. I've been betrayed, but I made it. I've been lied on, but I made it. I've been destitute, but I made it. I've been rejected, but I made it. If you don't learn how to master the breaking point, you may have many ventures, but you will not accrue massive success in any area because you have not mastered the breaking point. Every time life runs you to a breaking point, you will give up and quit. You will back away and run. You will say this is too hard, this is too emotional, this is too stressful, and you will back away. You cannot be a champion until you have survived a breaking point. If you don't learn how to touch people, you can never stop the issues that exist internally or externally in your church, in your life, in your family, in your business. So the one thing that the enemy is determined to do when you are at a breaking point, the first thing he wants to do is isolate you. The only thing wrong with your dream is that you're trying to do it by yourself. The difference between start and finish is determined by how you handle the breaking point. In the process of going up, when, whenever wheat comes up, tear comes up to the same proportion. Or let me say it in a way that's familiar to you, new levels bring new devils. So while you're coming up on one side, your haters, problems, situations, circumstances, responsibilities, debt factors, bills, organizational infrastructure needs all come up at the same level that one fact you can't come up over here and not come up over there. They both grow up together. Just because your circumstance don't reflect it right now doesn't mean that you don't have it. Believe in yourself and get up out of there and go do what you've got to do. The whole world has turned its head to hear what you have to say. Do you have something to say or not? What you do over the next few months will determine the next few years in your life. How you manage 
The critical mass of this moment will determine the outcome whether you acquiesce back to the gravitational pull of your ordinariness or whether you break through into another orbit and another dimension of who you are. I would suggest to you that everything you have gone through in your previous dimension has prepared you for this next dimension and you're right on the verge if you can master the breaking point. You earned it, you scuffled for it, you fought for it, and now you can hold it down. Let's imagine for a few moments what our life would be like if we could access, let's say, 20% of our brain's capacity. There are more connections in the human body than there are stars in the galaxy. We possess a gigantic network of information. People say you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing, and it's totally true. And the reason is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard, and you have to do it over a sustained period of time. So if you don't love it, if you're not having fun doing it, you don't really love it, you're gonna give up. If you do tomorrow what you did today, you will get tomorrow what you got today. You wanna know what that means? The average American makes between three and 5% more each year. That's the deal. So it takes you 20 years to double your income in America as an average person. That's the mediocrity that we're stuck in in life. And then you meet people who have the uncanny ability to double their income in a year, to get promoted five times in a year. The ones that beat the system, the ones that conquer it. The difference between them and the ones that don't do that is that they wake up in the morning and they think differently. They understand that if I do tomorrow what I did today, I'm gonna get tomorrow what I got today. You want a bigger car? How about a nice house in Tahiti? We all want more friends, more stuff, more money, more security, more travel, more enjoyment. If you do the same thing tomorrow that you did today, you're stuck and it doesn't change.